Seriously, you think I was kidding about having the twin, right? And a fellow radio buddy of mine was writing, and he said, Bill, is business that bad? The microphones behind you never move. Hmm. There you go. But that's not why I called this meeting. You know, for a long time, I've had difficulty with the word doobly-doo. I think Wheezy Waiter came up with the name. He's, he's a fantastically creative human, but the word just never really flowed like I thought it should until Waffle Sam. So now, every time you hear it from me, it's going to be said by Waffle Sam. So I'll tell you now, before we get started, that a lot of notes and a lot of videos that pertain to this one will be found in the doobly-doo. I hope this looks all right because I'm a little bit in the dark about what kind of camera shot I'm getting right now. The Sony Hi8 video camera that I'm using to record this now, I bought back in the year 2000. So the fact that it's been around for 11 some odd years and helped me make over 240 something videos for YouTube, is not a bad track record. I was asked to record something for a friend and so I was doing that and when I got through I noticed that the little side monitor that that I used to reference my cell phone camera stopped working. I want to show you what I'm looking at now. You see how I reference myself? I have a mirror that's right <laughs> behind there and so the only way the monitor on the camera will work is on the very side. And I keep all the manuals from every piece of equipment that I've ever bought. <laughs> like, but then I found this one thing. It's like a things you can buy extra for your camera leaflet. I don't know what about this picture made me think, you know, this is really a little strange. <laughs> that kid's gonna be thinking, what the hell? And if you're like me, and we pray to God that you're not, I, I write telephone numbers and notes down over anything I can find around. And so I had a bunch of telephone numbers. Have you ever found one of these pieces of paper and just wondered, I know that number. Who is that number? And then called that number to see who it was? And it's an ex-girlfriend's parents? Mm. And here's another thing that I'm constantly pondering in my little tiny brain. Why is it that the minute you throw something away, three months later, you need it and you have to go buy another one? The perfect example in this house, the iron. Why does this iron look like new? It's never used. I mean, you can pretty well take a look at me and tell that, can't you? I mean, I don't even know what the settings are. Okay, what's this one through? This is the volume or something? Don't want to turn this up too loud. You may disturb the neighbors. What do you do, beat your clothes to death? One year I used this to crack pecans. Someone gave this to me. It's an E.T. finger. Fun home. It came with a light at the end of it. Why do I still have this? Uh, yes, officer, there was an extraterrestrial here, but... All that's left of him is this. Here's another fine example of something I've never thrown away. This is called a dust buster. My dust problem is so big, it takes more than this to bust it. We're talking more like National Guard territory. Whoever gave this to me had some sort of fantasy in their head that I would say, Oh, dust! Wait, I got it! Be very, very quiet. 